Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look at an extension today called Selection Toys. This is one of my favorite extensions that I've installed in a while. Um, it's actually a fairly classic extension. It's been around for a while. It's from TomTom. It is available for free from the extension warehouse. It is a collection of simpler selection related tools like selection filters, the ability to automatically select or deselect items based on certain properties. Um, once you install it, there's a couple of ways to run it. Um, you can run it through the context menu. So if I come in here and select something and right click, I get these selection options in here. Um, select, deselect, uh, based on what's selected. In this case, I have a group selected, so I get options relating to groups. Um, but I can see in here I come in and filter what's selected uh, based on the selection right through the context menu. Just right clicking brings this up. We'll go through this a little more in a moment. Another way to view selection toys for those of you who like your toolbars is a very healthy tool palette. So here is a whole lot of buttons and each one of these icons means something will get selected or deselected. Green means select, red means deselect. Now, when I first installed this and saw this, this was a lot of icons. I did not know what to do with all these. Fortunately, when you install, if you do go to Tools and Selection Toys, the author gives you a cheat sheet. This is just a little HTML page that shows what's in the context menus and then what each of the icons are and what they stand for. So that's great if you find the few that you like and add those to a custom toolbar or have uh, just a couple of these you want to use, that's awesome. And actually there's a nice tool for that installed as well. So if I go back up to the Tools menu and then Selection Toys, I can see there is a UI Settings. UI Settings actually lets me go through and turn individual buttons on or off of this toolbar or choose which one of the commands show up in the context menu. This is a nice feature that the author added that really uh, helps make this a usable tool. So if I find there's three or four buttons that I use that I just want to have on a toolbar by themselves, I could turn the rest of them off and just turn those specific items on. As far as actually using it, it is completely sensitive to the context of, of what I have selected. So right now I have a group selected and again if I right click and I say hover over group copies, I have the option to select the active group copies, all active from same layer. My, my filters are going to change depending on what I have picked. In this case, I'm going to say select all groups. I know from up here, I have four of these groups in the model, but if I click select all, all four of them will be highlighted. This is kind of a cool tool. In here, I can right click, I can go to group copies, and when I have multiple selected, I could say convert into components. So now, rather than having four individual groups, I actually have four copies of a single component, which again, if I right click now, I have instances rather than group copies, and I can tell it to select all and automatically pick them. So that's just some of the ideas of what's in here. Um, other options, if I do a group uh, drag select, sweep select like this, I can right click and I can say select only uh, the surfaces or the edges or the components or guides, text, images, anything I want, I can select based on materials with this. Um, some cool stuff I can do if I come in here, um, there's something I want to do specifically to this birdcage right here. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to do a group select like this. I don't want to get, there we go. I just want that top section. Oops, I selected too much. So I could actually right click say deselect groups. I'll turn that off, Oop, right click again, deselect components. Since those were highlighted, now I'm down to just lines and surfaces. And here I can go right click, select only faces. And I could delete those, which would give me a real birdcage look. So this is kind of just an, scratching the surface of what I can do with selection toys. The nice thing about Selection Toys is one of those extensions that just starts to seep into your workflow and you start working doing group selects rather than doing modifier key selection and picking specific items. Grab a bunch of stuff and use Selection Toys to filter out what you do or don't need. It kind of gets 
to the point where I got to the point where as I was updating versions of SketchUp, I got worried because I right clicked and didn't see the extension toys commands in my context menu. I had forgotten that it was an extension. I thought it was part of just regular SketchUp. So it can real quickly become that ingrained in your workflow to the point that you use it daily and uh, it will definitely help you as far as content, as far as uh, filtering selections and uh, speeding up your workflow with picking things in a SketchUp model. So selection toys from TomTom Tom, available on the extension warehouse. Check it out. Thank you.